Have you ever noticed your friends complaining about something very trivial? Let's say they said, you know, oh my God, this person did this, this, this to me. But you see them doing exactly the same thing. If you're studying OPS, make sure to watch the entire video. Because in this video, I'm going to talk about a concept. The reason behind why observers are afraid of missing information and why deciders are afraid of people. The diamond effect is a consequence of projection of a human soul. And what do I mean by this? Every time you go, oh my God, I hate this about you. You are doing that as well. And that is why you hate this about him. Okay. What does this mean? Let's talk. Let's talk about observers and deciders. Deciders are afraid of people. Okay. They just feel like gangs of people coming after them and stuff like that. Oh my God, this group of people is coming after me. So I'm in this group of people. So it's like this gang versus this gang. You know what I mean? It's that sort of stuff. So why are they like scared of people coming after them? The reason is they could make gangs and go after people so i had a friend now she had like so many problems and she always used to tell me oh i this guy is coming after me this guy did this to me and and then i did this to him and he and he thought like this about me stuff like this right and i'm just hearing to this and i'm like okay you know what now this group of people is coming after you i'm as a double decider myself i'm like super balanced with this stuff and i never really caught this pattern right till one day so we are hanging out this is the evening and uh, she comes to me and says hey uh, let's go have snacks but let's wait for this person to leave because you know he's not the part of our tribe you know he's not part of our gang so once he leaves you can uh, join the lunch because now you're part of my gang and i never really caught that but i realized now the only reason she was having those problems was because she thinks in that pattern because she treats others in gangs she feels that others do the same thing and they create gangs and go after her because she creates gangs and goes after people because that's exactly what she does so deciders are scared of people issues like gangs and stuff because they create gangs and like go after people observers aren't so pure the only reason we are afraid of missing information is because we hide information from others is because we hide and information from others we are afraid that people are hiding information from us and we do this because you know to get that people together towards a common vision and stuff so selectively we tell some some things i don't know like at least some people do but this is the basic premise and i realized this when so i'm at my work and i have this my team lead right and he asked me like and i do like a lot of shady stuff like i show these youtube videos i'm not supposed to shoot uh i i like i like try to like search for other jobs i like try to like leave the project and i'm like working on so many different things that the other person should not know about you know if they did know about it it'd be trouble for me so one day i just enter my office after lunch and he just asked me oh prem uh how are you doing today and this was like beginning of covid and in my mind i had like a million things racing okay is he asking how my parents are doing because of the covid or is he asking how am i doing like health wise or is he asking how am i doing in terms of work or did he like find out that i'm shooting youtube videos and he's like hey how are you doing you know what i mean or he's like oh i i know that you're going to leave the project how are you doing you know what i mean i didn't know how to interpret it and that was like causing me anxiety and i was like yeah fine uh you're asking about the work right i'm doing amazing you know what i mean so and and this was like causing me like stress i'm like how can this guy like ask me such vague questions why is he not articulating better and i started doing byron katie's work and i was just writing all this right this guy is hiding missing information from me he, he's like not telling articulating the context is not setting up the context well and all this stuff and in byron katie step number four there's something called the turnaround so you just turn around whatever you wrote oh he's hiding information from me you turn that around i am hiding information from him it, and there's another one i'm hiding information from myself and that was when i realized oh my god 
the only reason i'm having observer problems is because i am hiding information from others and because i am doing that i feel that the others would do the same thing to me that's where you see this diamond effect playing out it is a consequence of projection all deciders are scared of people because they themselves treat people that way all observers are scared of missing information because they themselves hide missing information so that's it for this video let me know in comments below if you're an observer do you hide information from others or if you're a decider do you treat other people in terms of gangs and stuff just let me know your perspective below i am curious to know I'll see you guys in the next video.